Okay, I'm back again with a quick solar update video. Just going to do an overview of everything I've changed. First, starting off with the battery. Uh, the battery has been switched out for my deep cycle battery because the uh, normal car battery went bad. Want to sell short it, probably from neglect and uh, gunk building up at the bottom. So it started puffing back gunk and sulfuric acid at me. I'm just waiting to recycle it and get rid of it. I also got a second battery, a 28 amp hour secondary main battery, which is currently being desulfated. But this main battery is going to be used for the system for now. Has the alligator clips going into the cigarette lighter and the charge controllers wired in with that. Has a 12 volt fan wired into the uh, battery box that it's in to vent harmful gases. And is wired up um, to a little power pack up there which has two 5 watt lights in it, fluorescent lights to uh, provide power and a light at night. It also has a radio built in. So I also have some new solar panels and some new charge controllers. Um, this first one is made up of one of my power packs. It has a charge controller built into it and a blocking diode. I just broke off a barrel plug, hooked it up to a solar panel that I built. It's a one watt homemade solar panel made out of cardboard and some uh, spare solar lights. Um, second system I have is this little uh, system I rigged together out of a recycled charge controller from a little rechargeable power pack that broke on me. Again, another barrel plug going to a five watt solar panel outside. 3.5 amp hour APC UPS battery, some F2 terminals I put on there. Runs this little fan for about four hours. Pretty powerful. And outside, I'll show you that five watt solar panel it's connected to. There it is. Anodized aluminum frame, glass front. It's a polycrystalline 12 volt, five watt solar panel. Has a blocking diode and a junction box over there. It's right above my 20 watt panel. Works out pretty good. Charges this battery in about a day. So some other panels I've gotten and I'm planning on doing some stuff with is first of all my uh, new six whoops foldable panel that I just dropped. It's a pretty nice panel, it's 7.5 watts. Again, it's thin film, the little six panel that's actually flexible. Uh, weighs a good three pounds. It's in this nice little camouflage exterior. And I'll fold it out in a minute, but uh, first of all, what I want to show you is my other big panel. This is a 20 watt polycrystalline uh, solar panel. Got it for a pretty good price, which is why I picked it up. Again, just like my other glass panels, has a junction box with a blocking diode and a 9 foot cord. I plan to put this out as soon as I can uh, finalize my system. Just wired in parallel with, some, uh, with the other panel so I can get more current. And also got another charge controller, one I actually bought this time instead of building one, is this Coleman CC4000 4 amp charge controller. Brand new for only $6 shipped, so pretty good deal from eBay on that. So let me go back to this uh, CX foldable panel, just show you what it looks like. It's a huge panel, it's over twice as large as that uh, polycrystalline panel and it's only 7.5 watts that's because six along with amorphous is less efficient than the um the crystalline panels so they uh they actually provide a little bit less power for their size but they work better if one of the cells are shaded say if one of those polycrystalline cells were shaded or one of my monocrystalline cells were shaded the, p the panel would almost completely shut down. With this, I've actually covered up multiple cells and it doesn't seem to phase it that much. So I got it for portability and the fact that, you know, it'll work in shaded conditions. So let me uh, set the camera down for a second and show you guys what it looks like unfolded. I just unhook the Velcro. It only takes a second to uh, fold out, really. I'm gonna try to uh, fit it in frame here. Okay. Okay. So it's folded out, and again, it's a huge panel. Uh, six. You can see the multi-colored six panels. And again, look at its size compared to. Let me grab it. 
this 20 watt panel. I mean, it's over twice the size. That's a 20 watt polycrystalline panel. This is a 7.5 watt CX panel. Just a huge panel, but again, has a lot of advantages since it's thin film. It's flexible. I can flex these cells. Uh, if I did that with that panel, I would break them almost instantly with little pressure. Um, but since this is thin film, they flex and everything like that. They uh, fold up so it's more portable than that panel. I can put this in a laptop bag with my charge controller and uh, one of my rechargeable power inverters and have a little power pack going. So that's pretty much it on the updates, guys. I'm going to have some each individual reviews of these uh, solar panels. One on the 20 watt, one on the 5 watt, one on the 6, uh, just different reviews. One maybe even on that charge controller. I'll, I'll just let you guys know in a later video. So thanks for watching. See you guys later.